A mass m moves a vertical distance delta h in a uniform gravitational field and gains gravitational potential energy. The acceleration of free fall is g. Use the concept of work done to show that you have this equation mgh. Okay, so that means um, we are in let's say in planet Earth. We are in this thing called a gravitational field that is uniform. So if I were to draw the field lines of the Earth, it kind of looks like that. So if you have an object in the field, there will be a force acting on the object. We call this weight. And we use the symbol, uh, we calculate it with m times g. So that's the force acting on the object, a mass. So if you have to prove this, let's think of concept of work done. Work done we use it as force times distance, right? Force times distance. What's the force here? Weight. So I just say, oh, mg. What's the distance? Uh, if I move an object from, let's say, here all the way to the ground, that's a change in height. So that's delta h. Okay, so work done is a change in energy. So I'm going to do one more line and say, uh, since done is a change in gravitational potential energy therefore I can say change in EP is mg delta h okay so m1 is if you write down somewhere you know why it's work done and then you show that okay work done is change in GPE I get to this conclusion that's a1 so all the most of the energy equation you can derive it from work done. Make sure you know how to do that. Okay. So here's a, a generator machine. A 60 gram, a 60 kg mass attached to a string wrapped around the wheel of a generator. So this is a wheel here can turn, turn, turn one. The mass is held above the floor. When released, the mass accelerates and then fall at a steady speed. So as this mass go down, the wheel will start to turn. Generator will start to generate electricity. It goes through the circuit. Okay, air resistance is negligible. All right. So state the main energy change when the mass is falling at a steady speed. Key note here is steady speed. So the mass is going from high up to lower down. That's a change in gravitational potential energy. Because you go from a high place, drop all the way to a lower place. But what energy is it converted to though? Hmm, kinetic energy? Hmm, actually, normally yes, object fall from high to low. But in this case, steady speed, steady speed. So there is no change in kinetic energy. So we, that's not the main change. Normally we say change to Ke. No, something else. You say, means electrical energy in the circuit. Possible, but I think what they are looking for is the final change. So yes, there's electricity involved, but at the end of the day, it's the resistor here that will release some heat. It gets very hot when current flow through it. So that's some kind of energy loss there. So we're going to say heat or thermal energy. Heat or thermal energy. I know this point is a bit debatable. You might argue, miss, electrical energy, circuit. Mark scheme somehow is picky and they chose heat thermal energy. Okay, so that's one first part. Just see the, looking at the energy changes here. After that though, they have to do calculation. Ooh, that involves circuits. <laughs> so when falling at a steady speed, the mass falls through a vertical distance causes current in the resistor. Resistance is given. Calculate the rate of work done by the falling mass. Rate of work done. Uh, I think we gotta say hmm, rate work done. When you see the word rate, think of work done per time. Which also happens to be power. Power is, you know, change in energy over time. So let's calculate for the falling mass. So we're going to look at power. Uh, 
which is our mg change in height over t. So let's go. Mass. Okay, you dig on the mass. What's the mass? What's the mass? Um, did they give us the mass? Ah, oh, they did. Right up here. 60, uh, sorry, 0 0.6 kg mass. So let's go. 0 0.6, 9.81. Height, height, height. This is one point four meters. Okay, good. Time. In a time of four seconds. So find the average power over the four seconds. Okay, so this should give us about two point zero six watts. Or you could write as two point one watts. That's this final answer. Okay, the other mark comes from equation of rate of work done, if you know what that means. Alternatively, there's another method you can write this out, which is force times velocity, or in other words, mg times distance over time, which is the same thing, lah, mgh over t. Okay, lah. But just FYI, you can also use this method. Okay, so the mass is going down. The There's also power in the circuit dissipated in the resistor. So if I were to draw the resistor like that, why is there power dissipated again? Oh, because there's current. So there's some current 90 milliamps going through the resistor and that causes it to get hot. So energy coming out at a certain rate. Resistance, 47 ohm. So if I have R and I have I, the best choice I can use to calculate power is then I square R for this one resistor here. So I'm going to go and write 90 milliamps. Milli is the 10 negative 3 right here. Square. Then 47 ohm. This will give me a value of 0 0.3807 as my power dissipated. So that's right here, 0 0.38. Okay, last part. Efficiency of the generator. Hmm, so if there's part 1, 2, 3, there's a chance it's res res related. But how do I find the efficiency? Hmm. So efficiency, I use this symbol, eta, e efficiency. We need to use the power output of the generator. Over the power input of the generator, um, and you can do it in percentage or in fraction. So let's do the fraction. So why is the power coming out of the generator? I think I think we're gonna draw a diagram here because there's a lot of energy changes that we mentioned here just now. So first things first, the mass drop down, and that moves the generator. So I'm gonna write here, generator. This is one machine. What energy goes in? Your MGH. Okay, so this is your GPE. There's some power input. Then, the generator will move the circuit, right? So we've got some electrical energy coming out. Okay. And that kind of does another energy change inside the resistor. So two machines, if you want to call it that. But here, okay is electrical energy which is what comes out of the generator okay then of course resistor eventually convert to heat la, heat energy so we want to see the efficiency of this part right here highlighted so we're going to use what comes out which is electrical energy 0 0.38 power in which is the gpe we just calculated just now 2.1 And this one, we can, okay lah, do percentage lah. So times 100, times 100, we should get about 18.09 or 18%. Please write your percent because they never give you the units. Right, so one mark is for final answer. One mark is for the equation of efficiency, especially power out over power in. It's a ratio. Okay. Mm, I think that's all. Okay. Yeah, so that's all for this question of energies. How do you calculate power and energy?